Well, if you've turned on the news at all today, you've seen that there's been a shooting in Marysville, Washington, just north of Seattle. There's all kinds of details spilling out about this case, that it was this freshman that he had just been dumped by his girlfriend, and he shot two girls at close range. One student's dead, three more are wounded, then he turned the gun on himself. But really, I don't even need to get into any of those details because those are all going to come out in the news as it were. The detail that's going to be completely ignored, however, that we need to talk about right now is the fact that a few days ago, I just got done writing an article back on October 13th about how billionaires in the state of Washington, including Michael Bloomberg, Bill Gates, and others, have spent $8 million dollars to get a gun control initiative, Initiative 594, on Washington State's November ballot. This was reported previously also in WND, and they said the strategy in Washington relies on big money supplied by ultra-rich elites, which if successful could serve as Bloomberg's model for tightening the strings on gun owners nationwide. Initiative 594 would not only require background checks for transactions at gun shows and over the internet, but person-to-person -person sales and loaned guns. Even handing a firearm to a friend for a few minutes during a hunting trip would trigger the need for a background check if this Initiative 594 were to pass. Now, I really feel like that's enough. I feel like that is enough and nothing else really needs to be said, but it's not enough because there is more. Apparently, there was also a SWAT training drill going on during this shooting, CNN host Brooke Baldwin was covering news of the shooting when she broke in and said she was just handed a paper with new information, which she'll read on the air. She's to bear with her. She's going to read it cold. And then she reads, Maryville police will be holding SWAT training today. Then she interrupts herself and says, oh, this is from yesterday. If you Google the SWAT drill in Marysville, the official school district website comes up as the first result, but now it's been replaced with announcement of the shooting and the emergency lockdown and how everything's canceled for the day. On top of that, at a, another high school close to this one, there was an active shooter drill yesterday. And it's interesting that that's Bill Gates' backyard, but it's even more interesting that Bloomberg is the main figure behind Mayors Against Illegal Guns, which uh, has swept across the country to try to drive gun control. And he was behind the groups that emerged after Sandy Hook. All the parents that were supposedly from grassroots groups. And here he is behind the Washington State thing. They very much have an agenda at stake here. And you got to wonder if they'll do anything to get it passed. Yeah, groups like Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America, who has already very quickly after this shooting already released a complete statement about this as if it's just been sitting on the shelf with a few blanks on it waiting to be filled in about who the shooter is and what school the shooting happened at and how Washington voters are, are considering initiative 594 and they need to learn more about that here's the link to that and that this is just a grassroots movement of moms blah 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 yeah right no this is Bloomberg funded just like all of these other gun control initiatives are Bloomberg funded They've spent now $50 million to get similar initiatives to Washington's Initiative 594 on the ballot in a dozen states. So he's buying gun control. These people are getting together and they're buying gun control. So how convenient do you think it really is that now suddenly we have a highly publicized school shooting right there in Bill Gates' backyard? Just what? not even two weeks before these people are set to vote on this gun control so initiative? We're recording this video a week and a half before the elections and less than an hour after this shooting has hit the news wires. Less than an hour, and this Moms Demand Action Group already has a PR news release about this shooting. Linking it to this initiative 594, they want Washington state voters to pass coming up. I mean, what are the odds of this actually happening? Could I win the lottery twice before something like this would happen? I mean, what are the odds?